Hi, one of my mates, Keen, just gave me a buzz because he wants me to check something out. And while I'm up there, I might as well make some of the new pipe projector boards, which is the Rev 2.0 series. So one of my mates uh, runs Keen Electronics and he mentioned to me that he has uh, a fairly snazzy looking uh, little I2C device. So uh, let's go up and see what he has. Hey Keen. Hello. Where are you? Uh, I'm at the bench. What's up? Uh, so what do, you, what do you got for me? Playing with these new I2C rotary encoders. Oh, making wow. pretty little that's cool right. so are these a kickstarter these are a kickstarter and i've just got a couple of samples um nice. they actually he had an earlier version which just use a, a plain knob but these ones use a, a knob that actually has the rgb led inside the shaft and you got one of those fancy uh little knobs that yeah, got these off. It just shines a light through. Yeah, got these from a place in China. I kind of like them. It's a very simple um, Arduino sketch controlling them. Yeah. But um, there's also sample code for Raspberry Pi and you could easily do it on you know anything that has I2C bus. And just experimenting with the new fading feature. That's right, this is the one that you were telling me about where um, you suggested that he puts in a fading feature. Yep. So you don't have to do any I2C communications, you yep. can just set a register to fade in or out, basically adjust how quickly it does it. Yeah, so when you twiddle it, it fades. So you turn it one direction, it goes green, turn it the other direction, it goes red. Okay, nice. And if you have the Arduino serial monitor open, you can see the numbers up on the screen that are changing as I turn it. And if I actually hit the min and max spots, you'll see it actually goes blue. Nice. So while I'm here, I might as well uh, make up the next batch of Pi projector boards, uh, which is Rev 2.0. Uh, this one contains the uh, LiPo battery charger, uh, so it makes it completely portable. So whenever you're making a PCB uh, and you think that you've got it roughly right, always get a stencil. Uh, if you don't have a stencil, it just makes life so much harder. And really stencils are pretty cheap these days, 20 bucks for a, a decent stencil. Um, if you don't get a stencil, you end up with something like this. Um, and yeah, rework tends to be a bit of a pain, especially when you have uh, four boards uh, with fairly uh, tiny pads. Uh, so there you go, a nice little uh, portable Pi projector. 
So those ITC encoders look pretty cool. And it was actually something I was thinking of doing with those motorized sliders I had in a mailbag a while back. Uh, so stay tuned for yet another PCB coming out. And don't forget those pie projectors will be up on Tindy uh, fairly soon. Uh, I don't actually have any in stock at the moment, but I'm putting it up on Tindy as an expression of interest. Uh, just to see how many people would uh, like one of those. So this video is slightly different to my normal video. I'm actually thinking of publishing uh, one of these videos every week, uh, which would be on various topics. I might see something very interesting. Uh, I might go off and see someone who's made something, uh, whatever. So um, if you like it, then you know comment below. Uh, if you don't like it, also comment below. So thanks for watching and see you next week. Oh, really? Yeah. Do we have to watch it again? Yeah, here he is. There's JLC PCB man.